We're joined here by champion trainer Gary Hall Sr. He'll be looking for his seventh Retrovision Fremantle Pacing Cup on Friday night. He has two wonderful chances. We'll kick off with Bodine Boaz. He was really good to take out the village kid pace the other night. Yeah, he was. He um, came off a three-week break and uh, ran a 36-1 lead time. So, yeah, no, I think he was quite good, yeah. Strong win as well and he fought on strongly. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not weak, that's for sure. Clint Hall or Gary Hall Jr.? Who drives Bodine Boaz? I think you know the answer to that, Gareth. I think uh, Junior's going to drive uh, Chicago Bulls, so it looks like Clint Hall. Did that surprise you? Not at all, mate. Do you think Bodan Boaz can still win? I do, yeah. I think, you know, given the right one, I'm, I'm certain he can win, yeah. What would your instructions be to Clint? <laughs> Probably won't matter anyway. He'll just drive what he wants to do. He'll f have a feel of the pace of the race out of the gate, and uh, I'd, I'd say he's got to head forward, at, you know, in the race, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. And Chicago Bulls a four-year-old. Um, it's not easy to win a Fremantle Pacing Cup, but in Boaz did it last year. But you must have been really happy with his effort first up in open class last Friday night behind the stable, mate. Yeah, I think he was outstanding. I think if he had have uh, had been a bit of mid-race pressure, I think he might have won the race. And uh, 2,500 will suit him. He's going well. Um, I'm pretty sure he's very hard to beat. Is he surprised you how far this horse has come so quickly? Um, not really. <laughs> After he won the WA Derby last year, I thought this horse was exceptional and he's, he's just kept going on with it. So, you yeah, know, I'm pretty happy with him and I always have been really, yeah. So. He's such an exciting pacer for everyone to watch because he is so small. I think he'd probably be, he'd be smaller than Quinny, wouldn't he? And he's probably not as quick just yet, but um, he's not far off him. He's a lot smaller than him, but I think he's a little bit more stamina at the same age than Quinny. So uh, this race will suit him. Uh, you know, I'm uh, probably going to be close handy in the running line I'd say you know I'm, I'm, I think Frank and Nelson might find the lead and uh, I think they'll want to hold it so he might be hard to run down in front um, but uh, he'll go well. And just quickly on your other runners probably see your Mackie's probably a little bit you know unlucky to miss the Fremantle Cup but he draws the pole in the consolation you expect him to lead all the way can he bounce back from what's probably disappointing on face value last start? Yeah I think so they ran home really fast time last start and he, he, he you know didn't finish on, and, but neither did My Name's Kenny, and I thought overall uh, CMX form's better than My Name's Kenny. He won the Constellation of the uh, Pacing Cup, and he's won more open class races than uh, My Name's Kenny, so I thought he was probably a little bit disappointing from an owner's point of view for not getting in, but, uh, you know, he's probably got a better chance of winning the, this uh, race on Friday night, but uh, I think, you know, he'll probably uh, lead, which he always does and when he draws one, and uh, he'll be hard to beat. Best chance on Friday night? Chicago Bull. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, mate.